saying, if you're, you're done, you've been in football for 30 years, are you saying you are surprised by, by, I mean, because it seemed to me as a non-football person that this was very regular. The way he was able to have access to the referees, the way he says, they, they will say to the Tiger Eye that, oh, but you know what to do already. It was almost like the practice. So I'm a bit surprised that Mickey Charles is surprised. Bernard, the sad aspect of it all is that as industry players, we know the bad things that we all engage in. Mm. Okay? It's not that we don't know, we know. To the extent that I, have, I remember very well in 2015, at one of our high school meetings, we all accepted the fact that our football was being played at the mercy of match officials. So a decision was taken that we should do something about it. The president himself offered that being a very good friend of Anas, he was going to engage Anas. You mean the president of the FA? FDFA FA, in September 2015. Hey. And I was then the chairman of the media committee of the FA. Okay? So when I came out of that meeting, I was supposed to brief the media, the highlights of the meeting. So I mentioned it, that now the FA was going to engage Anas, Arimia Anas. To uncover are all you, those. Are you serious? I am very serious. The minutes are there. In and September 2015. 2015. And I think the spokesman of the FA, Sunny, came and confirmed it. That wow. Anas, he even said Anas had been contacted.